Hey Aries, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So let's see what God has for you again, Aries. Mm, Taurus with the Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Leo with the Strength card. Uranus with Aquarius. And the King of Cups. Ooh, that devilish energy. <sighs> Tradition. This to me, I'm hearing the way things normally are, or the way things should be, right? Somebody is struggling with this new love or receiving love. And they, to an extent, don't know what to do. It's almost like a, they're, they're feeling, number one, a love that they've never felt before, right? Feels like a love they've never felt before. Not only that, but it feels like unconditional love. Um... I'm hearing it's, this is weird because I kind of feel like they, kind of like they don't know how to interpret it maybe, you know, to an extent if for a lot of them, it could be like taboo, you know, kind of denying it, kind of feeling like, oh my God, you know, this is going to sound crazy as fuck, but it almost like it's forbidden to an extent. Um, I also kind of feel like they want to explore this love a whole lot more, but for some reason there's something um, toxic or forbidden, taboo is what I'm getting, obsessive. I'm also feeling like it's just a, it's just a feeling that is not leaving. You know what I mean? But it's almost like with a relationship, you know, to an extent with this Knight of Cups, you know, the Knight of Cups is moving away from the Hierophant, but the Hierophant is facing that. So for a lot of, you know, the Hierophant represents a religious figure, you know, priest, bishop, whomever, and it's just like, um, this is going to sound crazy because you see these two are facing that way, but the strength card is facing that way. So this kind of says to me, you know, be strong enough to accept this love, even though, say, for instance, it could be non-traditional. It's something that you've been feeling. It's a very strong feeling, but for some reason... Um, it feels a little dangerous. It feels a little unstable. It feels like to a lot of, for a lot of you guys, it could be triggering, right? It could be triggering the crap out of you, but you, I kind of feel like you're stuck because you're, look at this. I feel like you're stuck because, um, it's almost like the feelings are growing, but it's not, it's not anything you've ever, again, knew of you've ever experienced um and i feel like right now again you're struggling you're struggling to maintain balance right you're sitting in a big old fat unknown but what's consistent is this love you got the knight of cups and the king of cups you know it could re could represent um you know a homosexual couple where uh, there's an obvious age difference but um it just feels like damn, like this, this is like almost perfect and it, it works so well, but it's never supposed to be because again, it's outside of the realm of what you're used to. And again, what confirms that for me as a reader is this fool card there. You know, you don't know how to hell this love. It was almost like you, for a lot of you guys, you might've been blindsided. You know what I mean? I do kind of feel like the universe is saying yes, even though it's, it is outside of every every and anything that you are used to. To an extent, it's like just go with the flow. I feel like definitely here with the Wheel of Fortune, it's it's almost like, you know, let, let us and God Angels Universe do the heavy lifting Aries. Like all you have to do is kind of remain open, remain balanced, trust. We know it's weird. You don't necessarily know where it's going. But, you know, that King of Cups ain't sitting there for no reason. He's sitting there for, yeah, well, look at that. And the Emperor? Really? Really? Okay, God and Jesus? <sighs> I 
feel like you guys are blindsided. I felt like you ain't see this coming. This came out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, relationship, right? Like you minding your business, doing what you normally do, just living life, whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden, relationship. You know, this kind of came in quick. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of you guys, again, because this Knight of Cups is looking away from the Hierophant, it's almost like you weren't even looking for, for this, by the way, right? You weren't looking for this and then all of a sudden, blam, right in your face. Not only that, but I kind of feel like if you can kind of trust the pro process, go with the flow, remain balanced. You know, at times it could be a struggle, right? Five of, excuse me, six of wands, right? He just came from five of wands, like working his shit out. And now, you know, he's kind of built up enough strength to maintain his position is what I'm hearing for you, Aries. Now, with this Fool card and this Three of Wands, that's, you know, the great unknown. You not necessarily know where this is going. I'm going to take a leap of faith based on how I feel or how my person feels. Not where this is, not knowing where this is going. But again, I'm excited about the opportunity of receiving this love or giving this love being the, um, re, you know, the beneficiary. Beneficiary? I don't know if that's right. Anyway, um... This is crazy because I'm hearing you love this love. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know for, for me as a reader, this emperor sometimes represents my God card. Don't worry about how it feels. It feels taboo. It doesn't feel right. It feels obsessive. I think this is just a natural reaction because of how this came to be, right? So it's almost like since you were blindsided by it, it was like, what the wait? What was that? But, you know, it just kind of feels like here, Wheel of Fortune, and then also the Emperor is like, you know, don't try to control the hell out of it, kind of more so go with the flow. Um, not only that, but the Emperor also represents power and authority. So it's almost like um, this particular love, this particular relationship, the reason why it came in how it did come in, Aries, because you tend to be hard-headed, you tend to resist, you tend to rebel, you tend to push back. So the universe kind of snuck one in on you. And although, it, again, it's incredibly uncomfortable, you don't necessarily know where it's going. The universe is almost begging you, Aries, to say, listen, just trust us. We got you, right? Um, not only that, but the love came in and it was like, bink, you guys just automatically aligned. For a lot of you guys, yes, this is your soulmate. For a lot of you guys, you know, um, you clicked with this person incredibly quick, right? And I do kind of feel like, yeah, um, by the time your person came in, again, you might have been in a transition, you know, just kind of getting your stride back. Could have been from a, another relationship, could have been, you know, arguing with someone, you know, someone resisting, you resisting. But you were in the process of getting over and getting over that and getting your stride going. Then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, hold on. You know, that knee jerk reaction is automatically to resist and, re you know, deflect and move away. But I feel like Aries, you know, hats off to you because you were blindsided by this. But yeah, to an extent for a lot of you guys, you just went with it. You know, angels are also saying to me too that a lot of you kind of intuitively went with it because you knew it was kind of like divine, you know, kind of ordained. Universe uh, has your back oracle card. Oh, Lord, you got a book, Aries. My capacity to tune into the energy of love give me gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. I'll read that again. My capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when the time to forget when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. I like that for you because that to me is basically saying again, time when it's time, divine timing, wheel of fortune, right? Everything in divine timing. And I think intuitively you guys felt that, right? Because again, Aries, Aries is not the sign to blindside, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So if you're thinking about blindsiding Aries, please don't. Right. But Aries, for some reason, again, intuitively, this one blindsided the fuck out of you and instead of reacting and or responding or deflecting like I said and rejecting excuse me you were divinely guided to just go with the flow and you did you did comply Aries hats off to you because y'all know how y'all are and even to an extent when it felt toxic when it felt like too much when it felt very draining when it felt you know it was not anything you were used to 
So now you're going to blindside me and you're going to take control of my attention and just lock me up like that in a positive way. You know, the devil here with the God card that, you know, the emperor card basically says, you know, although I felt powerless, I always knew I was in control, right? Although this felt addictive, I understood it as something else, right? This wasn't necessarily the energy of negativity, but it was the energy of God, right? To an extent. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this video does resonate. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. I love you, Aries. Bye.